Ninja Kiwi Yi, we hate getting popped. Ugh, fine, I've got an idea for you. Yo, Blocks Fruits, can I retire you for a little bit? Yeah, sure, we got bored of being eaten either way. Okay, now you can get eaten by the monkeys. Sounds weird, but okay. Hey, a Blunarius Ninja Paragon come to pop it. No, no, I'm here for you to eat me. The heck you mean? Yeah, we've replaced Blocks Fruits for a bit. That's weird, but okay. Nom, nom, nom. Wow, I'm a big boy now. <laughs> Holy crap, three times damage that's so overpowered. <laughs> Bro, 10 projectiles with three times damage. That's so crazy. Ninja Kiwi must have been high whilst making this. Wait, really? Whenever a projectile of yours hits a balloon, three weaker versions of it appear on the map for one second that do 50% of your normal damage. Wait, so what happens if I do this? Bro, if a little dart monkey is able to pop a Moab with that, I wonder what I'd be able to do. Here you go, it's from the bottom of my stomach. That's disgusting, but I'll take it. Nom, nom, nom. Bruh, are you stupid or yes, you're a ray of doom, you can't pop me. Ooh. Holy crap, dude, that's so overpowered. You Can you give me that so I can try it too? Yeah, sure thing. A few inches later. Ooh. Okay, to be honest, that did take a while, but bro, I was able to pop a bad, that's so OP. Holy crap, bro, that's so overpowered. Can I take it too? Yeah, of course. What's up, nerd? Only paragons can pop me. Are you sure about that? <laughs> bro, having three times damage with 10 projectiles with 30 extra smaller projectiles is just a cheat code, bro. Dude, if that works with the Ray of Doom, it should work with me too. Oh crap, yeah, go try it out. Tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> Those were some weak ah bombs. Congratulations, Sarbamba. You've just won your 57th Oscar this week. Let's go! What would happen with someone like me, though? I don't know. Go try it out. Pew. Wait, what? Pew. 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 A few moments later. Pew. Bro, this experiment is going so well, I even had to restart the Bloons TD6 servers. Bro, do I seriously gotta eat an unalive corpse of a boss? If you wanna be big boy powerful, then yes. Nom, nom, nom. He was actually kinda tasty. So I just take a layer off of every balloon around me? Well, yes, but every balloon you pop gives you a generic 1% buff in everything. And when you reach 100 balloons popped, you get a special ability that's different on every tower. Okie okay, thank you, Mr. Ninja Kiwi. A few inches later. Finally, bro, it took a while. Let's see what it does. <laughs> we get the Hayek. I'm just a simple dart monkey. How was I able to pop so many Moabs? Well, you're able to do 500 damage to anyone on the screen, but it has a one minute cooldown. Wow, I wonder what the others are going to be able to do. Yo, here you go, the Lich. It's now eatable and it gives you great powers. And when you pop 100 balloons with its ability, it gives you a special ability that's different with every tower. Where'd you get it from? The bottom of my stomach. Nom, nom, nom. One hour later. That didn't take as long as Dart Monkey told me it would, but let's see what it does. I don't know what happened exactly, but that was a W. You got five times attack speed, and you were also able to pop lead and camo for 10 seconds, but this has a two-minute ability cooldown. Let's go! That's the best Christmas present ever. Christmas was three days ago. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yo, Ray of Doom, here you go. The Eatable Lich, it gives you a really cool ability after you take the souls of 100 balloons with it. Nom, nom, nom. 24 hours later. Holy bro, that took a while, but that means that it must be OP. Bro, you're a ray of doom. Why do you think you can pop me? Wait, why is it green? That's cool, but what in the heck did it do? Firstly, your laser does two times more damage when it's green, but currently you have the soul of a bad inside your laser, which makes it do two times more damage for 50 seconds. And if you get even more souls, they do stack, and they stack to infinity. Holy crap, that's overpowered. Ooh. Oh my, I can feel the power inside of me. Holy crap, I've popped so much, how much damage do I actually do? Oh, so that's how I popped Blunarius in two seconds. You can I try that thing too? Yeah, sure. 346 minutes later. 
finally broke. Wow, so just a carpet of perma spikes. Two thousand years later. These spikes are actually permanent though, that's Pog. What the heck, how did I just pop a bad with one spike? Yeah, this ability is a carpet of actually permanent spikes, and they do 25 times more damage than usual, which is why they have a 4 minute ability cooldown. Wow, so I'm just a Zar Bomba, but better. The heck is Vortex gonna do? I don't need a shield to the bloons. Nom, nom, nom. Wow, I'm a speedy boy now. The heck was that sound? Congrats, now you've got five times attack speed, and your projectiles are 100% quicker to see what that sound is. Go pop it with other bloons around it. Wow, so after it pops, it knocks the other bloons around it back. That's pretty good. Okay, what is it? I just breathe air onto it and stun it. Okay, how long is the stun for? You can I try this fruit boss thing? Yeah, sure. 15 minutes later. Bruh, I wanted an actually good enemy, not a super monkey. Bro, I literally cost $2,000. How did I just pop a bad with no issues? Yo, elite defender, here you go, this fruit boss thing. It gives you five times attack speed. What five times? How is that even possible? Nom, nom, nom. That was literally 9,999 lead bloons, bro. I haven't ever popped so many before. Wait a minute, does that work with abilities? I don't know, go try it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, it actually works. What the heck, why so many birds? <laughs> hmm, yes, let's see how my player count is doing after adding this new experiment. What the heck, that's big money, let's continue it. Yo, you've been adding in all these boss fruits, so that means you're gonna add me in now, right? No, you're too stupid and ugly, plus I couldn't think of any abilities for you. Oh my gosh, is that the new phase boss? My dude, I was added like six months ago. Nom, nom, nom. Wow, I'm feeling new now. Hehehe, <laughs> we can sneak past this stupid dart monkey. You can remove the camo off of every bloon on screen. Wow, that's Pog. <laughs> Bro, teleportation with literally no cooldown is so sick, bro. Yo, Ninja Kiwi just made your ability useless. Wait, what? How? With the phase fruit, you can teleport without any cooldown. Oh, it's some new thing. It's probably gonna get nerfed. A few inches later. Bro, what the heck does that mean? I can just teleport them on the bloons. What's up, Blue Dumbo? Who are you calling a Dumbo, bruh? You're the weakest tower in the game. Are you drunk or something? Holy crap, this thing is absolutely stacked. What's up, stupid bloons? Bro, we were just at the end. Why do you gotta be so mean? <laughs> Yo, could I take that? I've got an idea with it. Yeah, sure. Bro, are you kidding me right now? Two thousand years later. Yo, what's up, nerd? This game is way too easy for me, brah. Yo, could I take that fruit for a bit? Yeah, sure. Brah, have the monkeys failed maths or something? The Tsar Bomba can do 10,000 damage and I've got 40 million health. 10,000 when it's on the entire field, not when I teleport it into your lungs. The Ninja Kiwi Gods have blessed us with new fruits for us to actually equally distribute. And we've locked up Pat Fusty in the strongest cage that has ever existed. And we've also put an electric machine on him that has turned off all his muscles. So this time he isn't gonna come and eat them. Wait, but where's the phase fruit? Oh no. It's squashing time! Nom, nom, nom. Pat Fusty, we both love and hate you. <laughs> 